We have to go back in time and stop Moses from receiving the Ten Commandments. That way, neither Judaism nor Christianity will ever exist. On it. Done. How'd you do that so fast? I gave Moses 20 bucks to walk away. And before you say anything, that was a lot of money back then. Anyone would have done it. Happy November 25th. Only 30 shopping days till nothing. Brian, it worked. That's only half the story, Stewie. Let's make sure. Hey, guys, who does Mel Gibson hate? Uh, all of his ex-wives, but no generalized group. It did work. Finally, a world with no religion, no prejudices, no irrationalities, just science-based reason. Package for Brian and Stewie? Yeah, that's us. What? What? Oh, what did you do, you little twerps? Oh, my God. God. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. Fix it. It was fix his it. idea. Fix it. It's not even my machine. You don't think Einstein and Carl Sagan tried this crap? I had to send them to Noogie City. Is that where you want to live? Noogie City? Huh? Because I can take you there. I got the keys, Hoss. <sighs> Is this all religion is? Threatening to noogie people if they dare to think for themselves? Yes, I'm basically Biff from Back to the Future. And you're all George McFly. All right, I gotta take a picture of the package on your doorstep or they don't believe me. You're really a delivery man? Yeah, no collection plate. I gotta pay for Dish Network somehow. Oh boy, we really messed with this guy. I guess we should go fix it, Brian. You know what? No. A world without religion is a world that values reason and logic to better the world for everyone. And I'm not going to let some two-bit boomer, yeah, you heard me, tell us otherwise. Christ the Royal.